Hi, so a quick video here. Um, if you've probably stumbled across this, then you're probably looking at why Swan CCTV cameras um, suddenly lose their ability to motion detect. So um, you might find all of a sudden you go into your recordings and you see that your camera hasn't been uh, picking up any motion for weeks, months, um, and that you've got nothing to fall back on in terms of footage for that camera. Uh, when you need it. Now, um, as you can see, I've got one here that I've partially dissected on my desk. Um, and this is kind of um, almost like a public service announcement rather than a fix um, as to why this can happen or one of the reasons why this can happen. Now, um, what you'll notice is the camera uh, has four screws in the back here, um, which you'll probably need to unscrew this little junction as I've done here in order to get to them properly and that separates the front half of the camera uh, from the back half and as you'll see here um, there's a um, almost like a rubber seal that runs around inside here to to protect the two halves from from water ingress or should protect the two halves from water ingress now um, what you'll notice is I've already taken this apart and had a look at it uh, but what you'll notice is uh, some blue um, residue that you can see in the bottom of the camera here uh, where there's been water ingress um, and we can only assume that the water ingress has come through um, almost like a non-perfect seal between the front and the back half of the camera. Um, it looks like there are some signs of lime scale around this infrared bubble at the front here but I would assume that's one piece of plastic um, molded around there so I don't think water has got in through there uh, it is possible that maybe water has got in behind this um, lens here um, and seeped through a failure in, in the lens but my probably most likely um, hypothesis on this is that it's got through um, a near imperfect seal on, on the centre um, so um, just in terms of how these work the wire um, that obviously carries the, the data and the power, um, comes in through the back and you'll see it's epoxy sealed. And then we have some wires um, running to uh, the main board, if you like, of the camera, uh, which if we take this off just to help separate the back half from the front half, um, that should just come off with a clip. It should be coming out now. There we go. And um, what you'll see here is that the, the top of the camera is where the, the, the lens is and the bottom of the camera is where the infrared uh, sensor is. Now, uh, in this case, um, as you can see, there's quite a lot of blue residue in here. And what I noticed is actually when I took the two halves of the camera apart um, over the bath, um, a lot of blue residue came out. And um, you see on this video I'm overlaying here that um, there was a silica gel bag or desiccant bag in there that was meant to obviously keep the in innards dry um, but in this case there was so much water in there that it, um, it obviously didn't um, uh, and basically yeah what we see here is this this blue residue um, which is I assume leakage from the, the silicon bag um, and has has caused staining inside the case now um, obviously this bit doesn't look too bad um, but what you will notice is that um, there is a connector here, labelled PIR, as you can see there, connector 6, PIR. And into there goes a small board um, like this. Uh, and what this is, is your infrared sensor at the bottom here. Um, and it's a, it's a standard part. Um, if you're familiar with Arduinos and microcontrollers, this is just a standard infrared motion sensor uh, and you'll notice that yeah this is pretty stained um, and actually as I uh, opened the case I noticed that one of the wires which I assume being red is the is the power wire the the um, the, the voltage in wire um, has come loose completely and you'll notice that the connector here if you can see that if the camera zooms in and all around the um, sort of the passive components here, the capacitors and resistors on the board, um, you'll see that's all completely um, corroded and, and water damaged. Uh, and this, uh, essentially, what this should do is screw into um, a, a mount sort of 
on here if you like uh, by the the sensor so that we can read the signals you can actually see the screw posts there from where I've taken it out but it should mount in here um, to the uh, to the, the sort of the dome on the front there that um, senses motion and what I suspect has happened here is it's become so water damaged and corroded that um, the camera has lost ability to detect any motion anymore and that this sensor board is completely uh, non-functional now um, you could argue that it's it's fixable um, you could try um, either replacing this small board or um, cleaning off the corrosion with some white vinegar um, and replacing any of the components if you knew their values I suppose um, but to be honest um, given the the fiddliness of the job and the fact that we've already now opened the case uh, and it didn't make a proper seal before anyway it would probably prove fruitless in the end uh, even if you did manage to get the camera going again um, as to as to uh, you know a permanent and binding fix so um, there are sellers as I speak on eBay that sell they break up the kits the camera kits um, and sell the cameras individually uh, for about 30 35 pounds something like that um, and you can then get a replacement camera um, and just wire it into your existing wiring but uh, in this case as you can see um, it's obviously not been particularly well made um, and corrosion has got in and destroyed the motion detection board uh, the rest of the camera obviously operates fine so when you look at it in live view the actual camera underneath here so this is the main board if I was to unscrew this you'd have the camera board underneath there um, that is all operating absolutely fine but um, the motion detection which runs on a separate daughter board as you can see there is um, completely destroyed um, and uh, yeah it's it's not really for the cost of a new camera not really worth the um, effort and time trying to uh, recover this and like I say it could in the end prove fruitless anyway uh, so yeah more of a public service announcement than um, than a fix um, but obviously um, those of you who are getting similar problems with these swan cameras and finding that um, you know nothing works in terms of trying to get the motion detection working again so if you've tried factory resetting your box tried turning certain settings off and on again uh, and you're still finding the problems happened You'll probably find if you was to, to take a screwdriver to the camera that um, you've got something similar to this going on inside. Um, so the new camera, what I've done um, is gaffer taped um, around uh, with some waterproof duct tape um, around this um, area here, the front and back halves to hopefully prevent any further water ingress. Uh, obviously, that doesn't mean that it's going to be 100 percent safe because you, you obviously have these areas here. I'm assuming that though the water has got in through this seal here um, and it's just not been properly rubber sealed maybe this seal needs to be a bit thicker um, in order to, to make a proper connection there and stop any ingress uh, but there you go so um, that is one of the potential reasons why the motion detection on a swan camera uh, stops working um, and yeah it looks like it's just a, a hardware fault so that's all for now cheers